Hey you guys, today I'm going to show you how one little secret changed the whole watercolor game for me and improved my watercolor lettering. So I'm going to be using Paint and Letters watercolors. They helped me so much and they're amazing so of course these are my go-to. I started with this very inexpensive tray. You can get it at Michael's. You can see it's very messy because I really wanted to learn watercolor and I practiced a lot. I just, I couldn't figure it out. So I had been painting just by um, dipping my brush in the pan and then lettering. And it was quite mm, globby on my brush and I had to dip it back in over and over because I couldn't flow right with the brush. And so I just, I thought that's how it was. It was just hard and I didn't get it. But then Tanya told me the secret, which actually isn't a secret, but to me, it felt like this big secret that everybody knew, but I didn't. <laughs> so basically the secret is you just, you wet your paint and then you take some out and you mix it in a well and then you can add water to it and then basically you're lettering with um, liquid watercolor instead of right from the pan. And this helped so much. I can't even tell you. The first time that I did it, it was like life changing. <laughs> so I'm going to show you the difference of both ways. So this is what I would do. See, I, I dropped a little bit of water in here and now I'm just grabbing some, see? And then I'm going to, let's just do something simple. So see how it's really, really thick right there and I couldn't get it quite smooth and it's not flowing the way I did good because then that's when the right amount was on my brush um, and it flowed a little bit easier, but it's quite globby. And let's see, if, especially if I write something bigger, see how I can't even get that to flow. So I would have to go back in and then I try adding more water, but it wouldn't, it's already too late. And then the eye was pretty good because that was when there was just the right amount. But see how the age is just not, let's see if I can show you this close up. So you can see it's not very smooth. I just, I didn't know what was wrong. So let's try it the way that I learned by mixing some in a well. And when you mix it in a well, then you can choose how watery you want it. So if I want the blue to be really dark, then I wouldn't add very much water. If I want it to be watered down a little bit, I can add as many drops of water as I want. just flows and this looks more like watercolor, right? This looks like a glob of paint. <laughs> and right here, this actually looks like watercolor. It's gonna dry really, really nice. And if I want this to be the darker blue that we have over here, then I can just dip my brush in the pan again and mix up a little bit more. So see, that one's a lot darker just because I didn't add as much water. I'm just smoothing out the edge right there, but it's a lot better. Oops. There we go. This one is a lot cleaner than this one. And it's a darker blue, but it doesn't look so like globby as this one. 
This is just for lettering specifically. I mean, this can definitely help with other watercolor projects, but what I do is lettering and this is what I found has helped me to letter much easier with watercolor. And another really cool thing that you can do is mix colors this way. This was Prussian blue and lemon yellow. One last thing, whenever I, so here's a metallic, here's a, this one's called Poseidon. Whenever I use metallics, I make sure that I don't water it down too much. Sometimes I want it to be pretty watery if the whole word is going to be the metallic color, but if I am just um, using it for the details, then I would definitely just um, dip right in. So there you go, there's my secret. Thank you for watching and join me again in my next video.